Well, good evening, folks. Here we are again. I'll just take the glasses off. I should never mind while I'm on the computer. Um, yeah, episode 78 coming up now. And this is the second trip down to the Murrumbidgee. Uh, we've got a carp and two nice rainbow trout. The first one was about 38 centimetres and the other one was 48 centimetres. So two really good trout, two good eating trout. Uh, we ended up bringing them home. Uh, tacked on the end of this video, you'll see a fox. I just thought it was a bit of wildlife, so I thought I'd show it. So, without further ado, hope you enjoy. And yeah, tight lines, folks. And I'll see you on the next one, which will probably be another one down at the Murrumbidgee. We're going to go down and give it another crack over the weekend. Take care, folks. But life goes by so quickly, and it's such a sunny day. Fish, do you want to go? Well, g'day ladies and gentlemen, here we are again, back at the Murrumbidgee. And today, we started at the other end, and we just decided we'd sit there for a while and we didn't do any good. So we're back here where we parked the other day, and I saw a cod riding close. So we're here very bushy we got the animals and yeah folks let us hope that we get some fish today got him out there is with a worm on european night quiet crawlers can't even speak english and we got the cheese which has gone under a log over here which i'm just going to pull out because i figured it'd go under there but we're going to Yep, we've gone under a log. So, uh, we're going to lose this gear. But that's the joys of fishing these spots. Yeah, that is the joy of fishing these spots. And we've lost the gear. Oh, well, we didn't do too bad. We got our hook back. And we're on a fish. We're on a fish. Up the other end now, we've got a fish. Get the net. He's not going to have much dark in this time. Thank you for losing. Yeah. Ah, got him. Now I got him back. It's going to be hard, Joe. Hard work bringing him back, too. Yeah, oh, I can't get him. Can you pull those? Drop the net. See where that rope is? Pull them. Uh, What's called line? Those, those lines in. Right. See them? Both sides. Really fast. That's a cod, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Quickly. Don't worry about that, just get that one. Ah, oh, now it's still a cod. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got. A big massive mud marlin. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Oh, that is a big carp. <laughs> That's a big carp. <laughs> and you saw the fight. <laughs> Woo! <Show> the dogs. <laughs> that is a big carp. There you go, folks. Big European carp. 
Well, you saw him whip tarp, you don't throw him back. So I euthanized him and I put him where he belongs, out of his misery, away from fishing grounds. But yeah, that's a start. Yeah, very much deeper. Well, we had to get a hasty thing to get these guys out of the water, eh? Oh really? There we go ladies and gentlemen, put that back in, line's back in, that's okay. Gentlemen, best. We're getting bites on the worm and we might have a little fish on the worm. Yep, we've got a fish. Oh, if we can get it out of this tr tray. Ladies and gentlemen, our first rainbow trout out of the Murrumbidgee. Yay! We have, a, we have an eating fish. <laughs> a fish. Like the other one that wasn't. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a nice little. That's a, when we finally get him off the. Get him? Right. Right. I've lost the hook, but that doesn't matter. Put him in the water. I mean. <laughs> In the water, in the we'll just uh, turn the camera off. There you go. Bring the net. Yes, bring the net. Boy, in there. Yeah, Over near the other rods. Don't worry about it. Bloody hell, that was a cod. Yeah. Yep. That was a cod. Did you have the thing on or not? Well, yeah. There you go, just check the other rods. Not another one. Oh, look at that! Yep. 
Yeah, nice rainbow. Woo! The red light's flashing. Is that this fire? <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice rainbow trout. Yeah, well, g'day, right. folks. This isn't exactly a wrap from here. Um, the we're not going to have much light as we get into a bit more, you know, shadows lengthening a bit, it's half past seven at night, still sitting alongside here on the banks of the Murrumbidgee River, nice little bush spot, nice little campfire going there, must get our candle and the coils, um, we've had a lot of bites today, you, you would have seen the big, you would have seen that big carp, uh, hopefully I got the nice rainbow on there as well, I got a beautiful big rainbow and the uh, smaller rainbow earlier and I've been absolutely hammered a couple of times on that rod that's up there so we'll um, hopefully we might see a cod as it gets darker or a yellow belly we'll sit here for another hour or so and try for that but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed been out here with us today. I won't sign off yet. Um, we'll try and use a spotlight if we get a fish on and I'll try and get Faye who's with me today to spotlight the fish. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Being out here with nature. Well, there's nature there. And that beautiful scenery, serenity. Five seconds ago, just behind us was a big wallaby just went flying up the road. It's just, it's nature um, I didn't get it earlier but we did have a heap of uh, goats on the road in front of us I just didn't have the cameras running silly mistake normally I've got a camera there when I'm going anyway I'm gonna let gonna let you go I'm gonna sit back and relax and just see if we can get another couple of fish before we go home It'd be nice to go home with uh, another couple of rainbow or even a nice cod anyway talk soon folks well folks, that's a wrap, unless we see some wildlife on the way home. Uh, it's been a good day, two nice trout. The uh, mud marlin that we caught earlier. So it was a quite productive day. The only reason we're going home is because it's just started to blow a gale. And I can't keep a line where I wanted to. So, thanks for watching. Last episode was prospecting, and this episode we got the fish. So, hope you enjoy, folks, and we'll uh, talk very, very soon. I'm talking to you guys when I'm packing up the gear. As you can see, it's quite dark here now. Getting well, getting dark anyway. So we got the lamp on the side of the car. Faye's in the car. She quit. She quit a job today. She decided that I'd been working at her today. So she just walked off the job and left me to do everything. Is that right? <laughs> She's no answer. Anyway, folks, we'll down here get a shovel rod. Good little spot this. Might have to retire this old reel. What got me was catching that big red uh, rainbow trout. All of all things, a piece of cheese. So it shows, doesn't it? You do not have to have specialised baits to catch them. They'll eat anything. There you go, folks. Cars almost loaded, ready to go. That's a second last rod. Well, that's the last rod for the car itself. Just gonna get this lamp in. That's a wrap, guys. Tight lines. 
<laughs> See you on the next one. I'll just show you the drive back up onto the road. That little black blob up in front is where I'm going to turn the car. I'll just reverse up a touch because I'm sitting on a big rock. I hope you can see, folks, but this car is an all wheel drive. There goes half the gear, though. And join the back seat of the car there. There we go, folks. Oh, excuse me. That was a drive out. And that was my sneeze. And that was Faye sneezing. So, turn the camera off for a while. See any wildlife? Turn it back on for us. Go lines in a minute, eh? Take care. Do you wanna go fishing? Do you wanna go fishing? Ladies and gentlemen, there's the fox. Cats, don't they? They're related to cats. I don't know if he's, he's gone. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the fox. I thought I was going to take footage of. <laughs>